It's great to have you along for Sports Wrap on Fox 19. I'm Brian Giesenslaw, and you know you've done it. I've done it, and any honest college football fan from Columbus to Austin will admit they've been zeroed in on the Ohio State-Texas matchup, and it's a dangerous thing since the so-called game of the year in college football isn't until next week. So here was the question for the Buckeyes. Would they overlook an experienced Miami team with that showdown with the horns coming up next Saturday? Well, here's your answer. It's a resounding no. Coming out in four wide shotgun sets, Justin Zwick lays one out for Santonio Holmes. You can flat out go get him. He finished with 74 yards receiving. 10 nothing bucks in the second. When Zick Zwick makes his first mistake of the day, Daryl Hunter makes a great pick, and Miami has a little momentum, but it's quickly squashed. By the Buckeyes defense, Josh Betts took five sacks on the day, this one courtesy of All-American A.J. Hawk. Miami drives it. His drive is kept alive by Dante Whitner, a penalty, but the junior safety redeems himself by picking off Betts and returning it 26 yards to make it 20 to nothing Ohio State at the half. The offseason talk was about how Ohio State would get Ted Ginn Jr. his touches. They did a good job of it today. He had 10 touches and scored on a 42-yard touchdown pass from Todd Beckman that put Ohio State up 34 points. And Jim Tressel would later admit he started thinking about Texas sometime in the middle of the fourth quarter. Miami put some points on the board late, but too much Ohio State as they go on to win big this afternoon in Columbus over Miami. Your final score, 34 to 14. I uh, can't really worry about what's going to happen on Saturday night, you know, with the start or whatever, but, uh, you know, I always got to be prepared. Just never know what's going to happen. We want to send a message to everybody that's watching college football today to know that Ohio State defense, are, we're not going to sit back and just let guys, you know, throw the ball on us and run the ball on us. We're going to bring guys from everywhere. We have a more aggressive defense this year, a more aggressive scheme. We really realize what's, what's coming next week and how much, you know, we're going to have to work this week towards that and, and make sure that we, uh, we come ready because we know they'll be ready also. Texas is here now. You know, we got to start looking at film, watch them tonight when they play Lafayette, uh, and just go from there. All right, as for next week, Texas did beat Louisiana Lafayette tonight big. So the, so the showdown is set. The Buckeyes and Horns under the lights at the shoe Saturday nights at 8 o'clock. As far as I'm concerned, seven days can't go fast enough. Miami gets a home date in Oxford next week.